If you have ever wondered why this YouTube channel is called the Bino Destroyer or a trading indicator called the Bino Destroyer, it's because many moons ago, before electricity had been created and when everything was black and white, I used to trade binary options. And believe it or not, I was actually quite good at it. Uh, but a few years ago, binary options got banned in Europe and the UK, which is good because it was a lot of traders were getting scammed because of unregulated brokers. And everyone kind of moved over to Forex, which is great because it's more consistent. Um, and yeah, I'm quite enjoying the uh, Forex trading lifestyle because many moons ago, it was all about binary. But even though I can't trade it, what I still do have is a lot of knowledge and strategies in my brain. It was a time for me when I was learning to trade binary and I was changing strategies every single week. So every single week I was trying a new strategy. It wasn't working. I was moving on to the next strategy. And yeah, I built up a kind of library of binary strategies in my brain. So I thought in today's video, I would teach you one of those binary strategies. If you still trade binary, perhaps somewhere in this world or the moon, if you can still trade it, great. If you can't trade it, oh well, you're like me, you're stuck in a boat. But you might be able to adjust it slightly to suit your style of trading. Perhaps it's an in and out scalping strategy. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you a binary trending strategy. So let's go. Binary trend strategy. Believe it or not, this is a very simple strategy. In fact, trading binary itself is very simple. It's not like Forex trading where you have to do pre-analysis, mark up structure on your charts, take a trade, work out where your stop loss and take profit's going to go and then manage the trade. Binary is not like that at all. Literally, if a setup meets the rules, take a trade, cross your fingers, close your eyes and hope for the best. Going for like a 1, 5, 10 or 15 minute expiry, sometimes even 30 second minute expiries. You don't really need to do any pre-analysis when trading binary because basically what you're doing is you're trading with the trend, you're trading with the momentum, you're putting the highest probability of winning a trade always in your favor. And you don't really need to do any calculations, just have a set of rules. And if the setup meets your rules, you take a trade and that is it. And once you've took the trade, you can't really do anything else. You have a five minute expiry and that is it. Now, this strategy is very simple. It uses three indicators, a 10 SMA, a 20 SMA, which stands for simple moving average, uh, and a stochastics levels of 80 and 20, and a period of five and three. So three indicators, a 10 simple moving average, a 20 simple moving average, stochastics levels of 80 and 20, and a period of five to three. So let's see what it looks like on the charts. Okay, so I've now loaded this strategy on the charts and let me just go over the indicators again. So if we go to indicator list here, we have a, oh, in fact, we have a 10 smoothed. I said simple moving average. It is a smoothed moving average. So 10 smoothed moving average, which is black. And the other one is a 20 smoothed moving average. So a 10 and a 20 smoothed moving average with a stochastics of levels 80, and 20 with parameters of five, three, slow in three, low high, just basically copy all of that. If you wanna take a screenshot, it's up to you. But those are the three main indicators. Now, what we're looking for to take a trade, okay? What are our set of rules for taking a trade? So let me just wind it forward a bit, okay? So hopefully we get a setup soon. I've done this on the one minute time frame. Uh, again, you can try whatever time frame you want. If you want to suit it for your style of trading, perhaps Forex, in and out scalping, perhaps try it on the uh, five or one hour. It's totally up to you. So let me try and find you a setup that meets the rules. Oh, hang on here. Hang on here. Right. OK, so we've got a setup now that meets the rules. So the first thing I'm looking for is the moving averages. OK, the moving averages have to be wide apart. OK, the more wider they are, the more bigger the trend is, the more momentum and stronger the trend is. So the wider the moving average is, it tells us how strong a trend is. When the moving averages gets closer, like here, it means that the moving average, uh, it means that the trend is starting to slow down and potentially reversing. So the first thing we're looking for 
is the moving averages to be wide apart, okay? Then look at the moving averages. We can see it's going down. We can see prices below the moving average. So it's a downtrend. We're looking for sell trades. Once we get that, we then want to look at price itself. We want to look at the stochastics. You see how the stochastics has gone overbought here. We want that to appear when price is in between the bands. I say bands, the moving averages, but we're calling bands. In between the bands, okay? So if I zoom in here, that's the most important part. In between the bands, okay? Not here when the candlesticks kind of are short or when they're broken. The price has to be, the candlesticks have to be inside of the bands, okay? With the stochastics going overbought, okay? Obviously, if it's a buy, it's the opposite, oversold, okay? So you've got that, simple rules. Now, we normally, if I can remember, we entered on the green, the first, or the first red candle. The first red candle, or when the stochastics crossed over. So give an example here. We'll enter here for a five or 10 minute expiry, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Five minute one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, 10 minute one. So five and 10 minute expiry, one here. That is a perfect setup. So yeah, there you go. First setup and it wins. So let's just carry on now. We'll try and find a few more setups. Um, again, see how the bands are starting to cross over. See how they're getting slowly, they're getting squeezed together. It means a trend change is about to happen. We're about to go into an uptrend. It's magic, isn't it? When you start to kind of read the indicators on the charts, it's like, how did I know that was going to happen? Well, it was just simple. Okay, it looks like we're going to get a setup. Okay, this is in fact a losing setup. So again, this is a buy setup now that is a loser. So again, bands are wide apart. Gr that's great. Okay, we're above the moving averages. Price is above it. We're looking for buys. The stochastics has gone oversold and it is the first green candle. Notice how the candlesticks are inside of the zone. That's the most important part in between the zones or in between the bands. So that again, obviously is a loss. One, two, three, four, five. That's a loss. Okay. So one all at the minute, one all. Okay. Uh, we'll look for, oh, here we go. Next trade, next trade. Okay. So again, uh, in between the zone. Okay. Not broken it, not before it, in between the zone. And again, MACD has gone overbought. Uh, MACD, the stochastics. I've been trading the binary here too often. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we're going to be entering on the first green candle, or uh, first red candle this time. So one, no, we'd be entering here, wouldn't it? So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So both a five and ten minute expiry win here. Probably be best if we go for a five minute expiry. Five minute looks like the perfect sweet spot. Uh, it's been, like I said, it's been literally like five years since I've traded this strategy. So, you know, you know, it's refreshing my old memories. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on again. Again. Uh, we'll just carry on again, again, again. Looks like we're going sideways because, oh, hang on here. Looks like we're going into an uptrend. Ooh, 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 that would have been close. Ooh, ooh, here we go, here we go here. Um, ooh, this is a good one. Okay, we're not going to take this trade, okay? This is the reason why we're not going to take the trade because we're broken below the zone. You see that? You see how we're broken below the zone? We don't trade that. We have to reverse in between the zone, the bands, okay? This here is broken. It doesn't meet any rules, okay? So, it, it, no trade. Even though that trade would have won, don't take the trade because if you want to be profitable in binary, you've got to follow your own rules, right? We've got to be so strict, okay? So strict. Oh, hang on here. Okay, we've got a setup here. Um, this one's a loss, one, two, three, four, five. So that's a loss there. Okay, that is a loss. Okay, I think we've got a setup here. This is the setup we're going to take. Okay, this is a good one as well. This is going to test how good you are at following rules. Uh, here, this one does not meet any of the rules because it is not inside of the zone. It's bounced off the top of the zone. Okay, this one does meet the rules because this one here is inside of the bands, inside of the zone. This is the trade we want to take or this is where we want to take the trade. Here, 
does not meet the rules, okay? So this one is a good trade. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Win, okay? Winner, okay? Winner, winner, winner. Another good tip to be successful at binary, getting the perfect entry point. This is why you've got to have a strict set of rules, okay? So, um, again, not going to take that trade. In fact, the Scastic's not even overbought there, so I don't know why I said that one. Uh, okay, here we go here. Here we go here. Look at this candle. This is the perfect setup. This one is the perfect setup. Okay, so look at the candle. It's right in between the zone. It's not above it. It's not below it. It's inside the zone. Look at that. Enter on this trade here. Or Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Enter on the first red candle. So this one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one more candle. Ten. Yeah, so there you go. Again, five and ten minutes by we won. I'll find you one more. Again, here. Here, so this one here, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful. In fact, look at these, two beautiful back-to-back -back winners here. Beautiful. stochastic has gone overboard as well. I'll find you one more. Want to roll now? Want to roll? One, was it 2-0, 3-0? I can't remember. Okay, here we go here. Right, here we go here. One, two, oh, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That's a loss, okay? Just a loss, okay? Um, but yeah, that, that trade meets the rules as well. It looks like we're going into an uptrend now. It looks like we're going into an uptrend. So, yeah, here we go. Here we're starting to go into an uptrend. I'll find you one more trade. Um, really quickly. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, here we go here. Right, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we're inside of the zone. Again, beautiful setup. I'm glad that we entered on a perfect setup, okay? Because it's fresh in your mind if you want to trade this now. Uh, so there you go there. One, two, three, four, five. Done. There you go. Beautiful strategy. Beautiful trend trading strategy if you're trading binary. Now some tips for you. First tip is make sure that it meets the rules. And I mean meet the rules in between the zone. You wouldn't believe how easy it's going to be for you to get impatient and want to enter this trade or that trade because it slightly hasn't touched the zone or it's kind of come out of the zone like this here. No, has to be inside of the zone. And, be, you know, the candlestick has to be inside the zone. The second tip I want to give you is use a decent money management, okay? Okay. Trading itself, whatever you're trading, Forex or binary, you have to have a solid, good money management, okay? You can't just sit and trade every single minute of the day for 24 hours. You have to have some kind of money management strategy, whether that's walk away with two losses or walk away with three wins and come back another day. Stuff like that builds consistency. If you have to martingale perhaps or you want to increase your lot size or double up on your next trades, I don't know, right? Whatever level of risk you have is up to you. Your style of trading is totally up to you. But don't just sit there and trade, 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 trade because you have to implement good money management. Even with binary itself, you know, it's getting that perfect entry point that meets your rules. Taking a trade, if you get three, four, five winners in the row, walk away for the day. Be happy. Yay, you know, I've got a 100% win ratio. It's going to help build up the confidence. Um, so yeah, that's that strategy. I'm not going to trade it because obviously I love my indicator, the binary short, it gives me magic arrows and uh, I like magic arrows. <laughs> but yeah, um, have fun with that. Wish you all the best. If you have any questions, drop me an email, the binary short at gmail.com.